The struggle is real. How do you make money in World of Warcraft to sustain yourself and level up properly? Welcome to Jerva Gaming, and today we're talking about gold. Money, copper, silver, and gold. I see it all the time in the main cities. People are begging for gold to train their class, to get food, drinks, and get that sweet new piece of gear from the auction house. I'm not even going to mention the level 40 mount. No, I'm not saying I'm rich in classic Warcraft, but I can maintain myself and buy everything I need without too much effort. Although I haven't reached level 40 yet, and I don't have the money to buy the level 40 mount yet. Keep in mind that this is not a gold farming guide, and I will not be able to tell you how to get your mount at level 40. The only thing I want to do is tell you how to make enough money to get by, be able to buy your skills, get food, water, arrows, and even sometimes that sweet new piece of gear on the auction house. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, and I almost forgot, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Let's talk about gathering resources. There are a lot of things to get and find in the world. Leather, fish, or herbs, clothes, stones, gems, and that's just the beginning. You can sell those at the auction house. This may require lots of time to get a solid amount of gold, but do not forget about luck. Pure luck, finding a black lotus or mining a couple of arcane crystals may save you hours of the grind and double your daily income. You can get a great head start by making some silver and your first gold coin at low levels. Skinning is a nice choice there. It's a fast and easy way to gather resources. Leather of all kinds, while leveling you need to be constantly killing mobs while going from point A to point B to gain XP. You might as well skin everything. And don't forget that a lot of players loot the corpse and just leave it. That's free leather and free money for you. There are many good spots to grind beast mobs and skin them. You want lots of beats and chain pool, if your class will let you. In my opinion, a hunter excels at it. The most profitable professions are considered to be herbalism and enchanting in pair. You can have enchanting only for disenchanting skill. It will bring a decent gold, but you do need some luck on finding gear to disenchant. Consider the fact of disenchanting all soulbound armor and not just selling them to a vendor. But I do not recommend to disenchant any kind of weapon. It's more profitable to sell it to a merchant if it's soulbound. Or sell it on auction house if it's a BOE, bind on equip weapon. Remember you cannot pass level 225 in skill professions unless you reach level 35. So leveling it up as you go is the way to do it. I would advise against selling your mats on the auction house for now. The people don't have much money at the moment and you will see that your mats usually end up right back at your mailbox. Vendor them for quick money and hold on to the more rare mats. Players will eventually get lazy and buy mats on the auction house as soon as the server economy stabilizes. Another way to sell mats is to find wholesales, a constant buyers, they usually advertise in the trade channel. They might offer lower prices than the auction house at the start, but you save a lot of time selling everything instantly and get a bit more if you don't vendor them. Now whatever you do, don't throw away your money. You don't need all the skills a class trainer offers. For me as a hunter, I don't use track humanoids or undead. I can look up beast information online and my eye of the beast is cool but it has no use for me at the moment. Same goes for Eagle Eye. Why would I invest money in it? Only buy the skills you use in your rotation. Skill prices ramp up fast while leveling up and will let you pay a lot for skills you're not using. Look up a class guide to see what is part of your rotation and focus that first. You can always buy all the skills once you're level 60 and have enough gold. Keep in mind that some classes can offer great services for exchange of money. As a mage, make sure you get your portal skills Traveling in Classic is a big thing, and portaling around from point A to point B can make you a lot of money. As a rogue, make sure to level up your lockpicking. Not only is it useful for certain dungeons, but a lockbox drops more often than in retail, and people want it open. Don't buy stuff you really don't need. I know that upgrades to your gear are a lot more rare than in retail, but you will get them. Look up the gear you want on the internet and grind those mobs slash dungeons until you have them. I did the Wailing Cavern three times just to get a new bow. This took some time, but hey, I didn't spend money on it and made a lot by selling what I didn't need. Next up is crafting professions. Another way to make good money is by selling crafted stuff. This option works well at level 60, but also when you know what the market is looking for. A higher level tailor, for example, can craft bigger bags, which especially is useful in the beginning. 
At level 60, you should obviously have some gold to buy regions. Be ready for expenses up to skill level 225 in any profession. After that, you should see your money making ramp up. Items below that are not worth that much money. Unfortunately, engineering and enchanting will still require some investment. The only way to make a gold with enchanting is by disenchanting skills. Engineering is not that big of a profitable choice. Don't expect to make the same amount of gold as with alchemy or tailoring. It is oriented mostly around PvP. But there are some items still everybody needs. For example, scopes and explosives. Leatherworking has three specializations. Elemental, Tribal and Dragon Skill. I'd pick up the Tribal one. It allows to craft Devil Source set items. Hunters, Rogues, Warriors, Feral Druids and even Enchantment Enhancement Shamans and Retribution Paladins are among your potential clients. Like I said, everyone needs bags. If you're a tailor, then it's good business for you to craft Runecloth bags. Besides that, Felcloth and Dreamweave items are good in price and most people buy them at level 40 and higher. Some BOE epics, like Hide of the Wild, are a must-have for any pre-raid healer. Being an alchemist is being rich. Everyone needs consumable potions, flasks, elixirs. Some of them are required to complete quests. Now to get blacksmithing to level 300 is a big effort. It's not that thing to make fast gold. There is always a lack of black blacksmiths though. And enchanters need rods of all kinds. Melee classes look for sharpening stones and weight stones with counterweights. Others buy iron spurs. Once you've learned some rare epic recipes, people will always use your services to craft items. Last but not least, farming dungeons. This option is better used at level 40 or higher. The higher level you are, the better it is. You can make a lot of money this way. All you do is farming dungeons or specific bosses. Here you kill a few birds with one stone. If you're leveling up, you can gain a lot of experience if you have the quest or ask teammates to share them. You can improve your current gear and they drop a lot of loot. Clothes, recipes and even crappy grey items are selling for a lot to the vendor. If you're on a group, think about your groupmates. Don't roll need on everything and if they need something, let them have it. If you're playing a mage and have reached level 55, it's good to start Dire Mall East or Blackrock Depth solo farming. The only thing you need to keep in mind is that there is a limit to 5 dungeon resets per hour. With a hunter at level 60, it is a good idea to go to Marauden or Dire Mall North Tribute. Pick up enchanting for disenchanting skills to be able to loot unique items if you get them dropped. So you just have to disenchant the ones you already have. Consider, sometimes it is more profitable to make a quick short run in lower level dungeons than higher level areas. If you're in a high need of money, you can always consider selling dungeon runs to people. This is a fast way to run players through a dungeon and will not take up too much time for you. Always sell BOE items on the auction house. If you're not sure about its value, then check the market. There are some risks though, that items won't be sold and that you will lose money just putting it on the auction house. It's a good idea to make bank low level characters and keep everything there until the weekend. All sales increase on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Besides, you can advertise in trade chat to inform people that an item you are selling has been up on the auction house. So those were a few ways to make money in Classic WoW. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. If you want to see me play Classic, I do stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday evening around 8pm Amsterdam time. The link is in the description. With that being said, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.